If you feeling like a pimp Welcome to the Mac Almanac. Yo, what up, baby? We got international superstar Panji <laughs> with us today. Oh, man. Comedian, superstar extraordinaire. Welcome to the Mac Almanac, Panji. My pleasure, you guys. Thank you for having me. Thank Yo, you for gracing us, man. Yeah, yeah. He put us both on his show the other night. He did, man. That was pretty awesome. <laughs> yep. Not uh, my show. No, that was your show. It buddy. ended up being your show, Panji. <laughs> hey, hey, man. Your show. <laughs> They're over there for you, man. <laughs> yeah, thanks, man. How, how, how long are you doing comedy, Panji? Back in Indonesia, I've been doing it uh, for... Over 10 years. Over 10 years. Yeah. Wow. I was telling Kevin that we need to learn how to speak Indonesian <laughs> <laughs> so we can go on tour with you. <laughs> yeah, but you know how it is. You know, when I move here, it's basically I'm starting from scratch. It's a reset. It's just different. Yeah, it's a reset. Right. Kind of. of. Yeah. Kind of. You put in some work over there and uh, it's going to be transferable. Hopefully, know? yeah. Hopefully. And you were yeah. telling me, you were saying that like you were like concerned about like not really getting the comedic rhythm here it's like yeah it's, i was thinking about what you said it's like that's I, what comedic rhythm yeah because um indonesians mostly um especially the comics we do mostly storytelling something almost like yours actually i i heard you have this very long story mm. uh the the um the one where you you um, pretended that you were um, kidnapped. kidnapped. Yeah, oh, okay. you're blowing up my spot. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, yeah. Uh, but um, when when I got here and then I paid attention uh, of all the comics that was on the mic, and it's they have different rhythm, mm. and I just had to. Yeah, like, don't uh, listen to those losers. Man. <laughs> 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 yeah, they got a different yeah. rhythm. They're still open mics, baby. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's a yeah, bad rhythm. That's a bad yeah, rhythm. Very true. Yeah, very yeah true. don't listen to them. Pay yeah. attention to the white kids at the. Oh, break but also, you know, I, I was I was thinking about I I was I told Kevin I was worried about what was uh, what are the things that I'm not allowed to say. I don't have the right to say because I'm not from from New York. You know, you there's know like what I'm saying. Th there's like three things. What was that three? Can't say the N-word. The N-word, the N-word, and the N-word. N-word, that's it. Those two I, things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. I mean, I, I think, Pedro, I think you can say whatever the fuck you want. This is comedy. Is that different in Indonesia? It is different from So Indonesia. you have to earn your spot based on what you say? But also, um, I think because mostly Muslim, right, Indonesia, and mostly are conservative, okay. and every time there's a problem with comics, it's it mostly about uh, religion issues. And there's a thing that, That's because good. it's new, uh, yeah. it, the the scene just blew up in 2011, so it's new. We only had it for like 10 years. Comedy. Comedy, Stand up yeah. comedy, yeah. Okay. And so, well, it's yeah. interesting because like, when the comedy scene breaks out, it's, man, it's, it's universal. It's like, you tell me not to talk about something, right? you're going to want to talk about it. Yeah. It's true. Yeah, right? I mean, don't you, do you feel that way? Like when someone says, don't do this, you want to do it? Yeah, yeah. 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 But you know, I... It's this is different. It's in New York. I don't know nobody here. Yeah. You know, I don't want to go up on a on an open mic and then right. got beat up. Right. No, nah, we gave you your pass, no, man. Nobody, you got... First of all, nobody beating you up. Yeah. <laughs> you gonna beat you up? Huh? I don't Some know. girl named Giselle who moved here from Ohio. <laughs> she's gonna fuck you up, Panji. Uh, know, that's man. what you're afraid of, honestly. Uh, you should be afraid of Giselle, bro. <laughs> Giselle's spooky, bro. She got something called an iPhone, dog. She oh, ruined your life. Yeah, so you yeah, said yeah. you said comedy started there about ten years ago. Yeah. What was before then? It was just there no was one no told stand up comedy. No one told jokes. Yeah, but um, mostly are I don't know how to say it, but they're groups in three, uh, oh. three and four, and there's uh, prior oh, to improv. It's not actually improv. They they're like sketching. Okay. Uh, they're using costumes. Um, okay. And basically, they um, they have stories. Mm. Like uh, it started off with one comedian, and he is um, acting as a uh, like a uh, I'm lost for words. But basically, it's just stories. Okay. And um, there are groups uh, in twos or in threes. They talk about social issues. They don't wear weird stuff. They don't wear costumes. They talk about social issues and yeah. avoid religion. Some yeah, some try to talk about religion. Yeah. But not straightforward, and it changed uh, when stand-up comedy blew in Indonesia. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, prior to that, it's just uh, there's no stand-up. Let me, let me let me stop this right here. Fuck talking about comedy. Yeah, <laughs> I don't want to talk about comedy. <laughs> All right, cool. Fuck it. It's it's dumb. Nobody cares. Yeah, <laughs> no one cares. Not them at least. <laughs> 
All 40 of our subscribers on Instagram, um, on <laughs> iTunes and YouTube don't care about stand-up comedy. And Pangy's 1 million. So. And pa- and 1 million 40. Million. So 1 million 42 people. <laughs> like, yeah, and also, by the way, you're going to get a lot of people in your country. They probably do it already who ask you, how do I get into this? Right? How, how, do, how, how do you get into comedy? Uh-huh. And from me to you, I have one, adv- one piece of advice. Uh-huh. Tell them not to. Uh, (laughs) no no i'm kidding i'm kidding you want to try to be um (laughs) are you prepared to be more controversial in the states i i'm i don't know i'm the the aim was never that the aim is just Just to to make people laugh right yeah Um, he has good stories yeah i I, I heard his stories they're pointing to his people but that's what that's all that matters like speak to your fan base and when you're not on stage, why are we talking about comedy? I don't know. <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> what are we talking about? Be, oh, well, there's a bunch. Okay. This is the Mac Almanac, baby. We're a dating podcast. Uh-huh. We're some, uh huh. We're last couple of weeks, we have not been talking about dating. Actually, we have talked about me wanting to be married. I want to get married. I want to find a wife. Uh-huh. And I think that's the first time since I was 24. Since I was 24, that I'm what? Irish? <laughs> Irish, please. He's yeah, there's, snickered. There's, there was just funeral music playing in my head. Uh, <laughs> I just want to be, ma- dude. I just want to. I just. First of all, you're you're taking you piece of shit. What are you talking about, man? I'm still out here macking. Yeah, but like, that's a, you know, that's a decision. That's a personal choice. I want. I think I just want one woman, one lady. All right, cool. One lady. I, I do not know what. The word Mac means. What does it mean? Oh, this is cool. Define a Mac. Define a Mac. A Mac is a dude who just makes great decisions, even when he makes terrible ones. You know what I mean? In relationship, but in general. In general. In general. Oh, wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. That's the way we see it on this podcast. Okay. Now, the Mac, a Mac is usually a guy who can get women. He's suave. Uh-huh. He knows how to, you know, he knows how to get what he wants. Not comedians, definitely not comedians. That doesn't well, sound like a what a comedian. Let me tell you something. That's bullshit, bro. <laughs> That's <laughs> bullshit. You're thinking about these nerd, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're thinking about these had... nerd comics <laughs> who, who just do this so they can learn how to talk to a woman. Most of the comics get vagina. Most of them get laid, dude. Yeah, like, yeah. Well, I'm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but That's you, true. you've been married for a long time, right? Yeah, I don't know how many years. I got married from 2006. My oh, wife shit. never want me to count the, you know how, um, a happy sec- second anniversary, happy th- third anniversary, right. she doesn't want me That's to count. That's actually smart. That's awesome. That's wife, actually a man. smart That's, way yeah. to go about it. That's so you could be like, <laughs> man, it is a keeper because you think, think about it. It's right. like, oh, you, when you're counting, uh, it's been 15 years. Right. Oh, boy. Years. The only time I've ever done that was when I was ready to get out of something. Right, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Right? That's what, I've been sitting she, in traffic for three hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah That's yeah. what she says. She said, why are we counting this? It's like you're in the in the prison. You know how prison yeah, people, right. they count the days. When I was in the army, I, I would count you the days. You were in the army? Yeah, yeah, I was oh. in the army. And we would count the days for our contract to be over. Right. Uh, right? We were like, all right. Two years, three hundred days. De- two, yeah. <laughs> so two hours, two minutes, ten you're, seconds. You're married, Panji, but you did, you mentioned the uh, multiple marriage. Is that legal in your country? Yeah. Um, so you can for have a Muslim a, for, for a Muslim, Muslim man. You Muslim can have up to how many? Four. Four wives. Yeah. Only four. Oh yeah, dude. Muslims <laughs> are macking, dude. That's <laughs> the mac life. That's that mac life. That's the crazy. Indonesian almanac. Right, but you gotta be able to. Uh, you gotta be able to like have proof of income for all four of them. Nah. No. No. Oh, shut the door. They gotta thing. go to work. <laughs> It's it's funny because uh, there's this one one uh, one guy. He's also a comedian, very famous comedian, and he has I think he has four wife, wives. And then he said, "Panji, why are you not married again? Have two or three wives? Yeah. And I have one. It's very expensive to have a one one yeah, household. Right. It was like find someone who has their own job that you don't have to provide. I was like, okay. <laughs> okay. But are there are there? Uh, let me ask you. What's the what's the um. What's the ratio between men and women over there? Is it way more? It's women? almost 50 50. Almost 50 Yeah, 50? almost 50 50. And then, I know uh, this by a fact because I used it in one of my jokes too. Okay. One of my bits. I did. So there's like, there's like how uh, you losers who can't get a wife. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> You're losing out to men who already are <laughs> married. But that must be horrible for a, a single Muslim man because like he's not only single, he's single like four times over. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's already like <laughs> negative four the time no, he's born. No, it's like, God damn, bro. And in Indonesia, uh, a lot of these marriages, they live in the same house. Yeah. 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 Like all, I, I, I've, I remember I've seen pictures, a guy with two or three wives, 
Like they're happy. Like they have no. I don't know how to, do he it. does it. I could do it. Man. I, I think I could do it too. They Listen, if I'm going to be miserable with one, I could be miserable <laughs> with four. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> no. My girlfriend's the best. Yeah. I love you, baby. Oh, my. Go find three more friends. <laughs> <laughs> I saw this video uh, of this guy. He was, I think he was Muslim. And right. He goes, he goes, my wife wanted to hang out with her best friend more, so I married her. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, uh, I was funny. like, what a stud! <laughs> I think Jalen sent that to us. It was, yeah, 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 he he did, was, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness, bro! Yeah, that but, shit could, that shit can't work for a Latin household, bro. I don't think so, at least. How was that? I don't. I couldn't envision my mother mm-hmm. married. No, <laughs> she's married. I couldn't envision her have to deal with another woman, right? Tell her man something, <laughs> right? Like, and you'd have four women beating you as a child. <laughs> <laughs> I already did have four women, women beating me as a child. Four women telling him not to call him mom. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin was adopted. <laughs> just thought I would mention that. Um, once every six episodes, you have to say it. Just I, just, I don't want you to forget. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, lest you start to I think you're a that. normal human. <laughs> yeah, Kevin was adopted. Oh, not okay. only was he adopted, he, he was an abortion survivor. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. What a story. Yeah. So was that in your joke? Uh, it's, um, I have bits about it. Yeah, oh, that's cool. Yeah, it's yeah. hard to fucking do it when you got five minutes. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> that's not the easiest thing to do. You know? your it just sounds. For your special. Yeah, it's honestly going to be for like when I could do thirty minutes at a time or something. <laughs> it's really hard to start off. By the way, <laughs> I used to. Sometimes it'll get laughs. It'll get laughs in a, in a room of co- comedians, and I'm like, I know this is not funny to regular people right now. Yeah, you know, you got to build up that shit. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Built rapport. You got to beat rapport. Yeah. So, growing up in Indonesia, mm-hmm. did you were you always a funny dude? I always like to make people laugh. Yeah. But um, you know what? This is very funny. I the first thing I know I wanted to be was not like an astronaut, was not like a doctor. Right. I know the first thing that I want to be is someone else's boyfriend. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah. It was very. I, I consider myself. I think I'm a bit of you a romantic. What? Yeah, you know. I get. I, 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 see what I, you're I fell in love when I was in kindergarten. I was like, that. Are you part is of the film? Oh, he's yes. a part of the film. Oh, you're so filthy. On, on the Mac on the Mac Almanac, we have a term called filth. Fall in love fast, <laughs> frequently. frequently. <laughs> right? That's how we. That's work. how we are. That's we how are. we work. That's yeah. how we operate. We like work. I see a was. I, I fell in love today. I was in the office and I'm uh, we in the conference room and across the street. In another conference room, I saw a woman working hard. I, I fell in love with her. <laughs> she was I used like, to be I, like that until I, I got I, married. I'm, I'm like, I, <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. she, went, she, she, she beat it out of you, didn't she, right? No, so you didn't have a like, second and third wife? I, I stopped falling in love because I know every time you fall in love, you go into this spiral of commitment, and it's just it's so hard having a That's relationship. Right. So advice from Panji is don't love your wife. <laughs> Steer clear from loving your wife. But I used to be like that. I used to be a filth myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but we I'm got telling... hurt so many times, right? Yeah, it's, it's true. It's a painful it's way. It is. So wait, it is. you got married uh, uh, 16 years ago. 16 years ago. Yeah. Were you... Wow, 16 years. I never realized that. That's 16 years of gifts you didn't have to get, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Is it again? 16 years of gifts he didn't need to get his wife. What do you mean? They don't celebrate their anniversary. Yeah. And my they, wife. It's not that they don't celebrate it. They just don't number it. I mean, we don't celebrate it too. She she thinks it's funny. What a keeper, man. <laughs> He's knocking. Wow. Uh, yeah, but but you know she finds it weird. Why do you have to wait for a specific day to give me flowers? Right. Like, yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah, but yeah. you're you're probably like a romantic dude, right? I don't know. You bring fl- <laughs> you bring flowers to sometimes. Her? sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. When sometimes. you fuck up. No. No. <laughs> See, no. You know, you know just when I because uh, she has a specific flower that she likes. If I drive by and I walk by and I saw that type of flower, I bought it for her. See, that's Mackin. Smacking. smacking right there, bro. This man's pimping. No, man. I am a Mac. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I just, I just understood the term it. now. <laughs> Grab that. <out. laughs> <laughs> Send it to his wife. Uh, <laughs> by the oh. way, the, uh, the dictionary, I looked up uh, the Oxford definition of Mac is a confident, successful man who has many sexual partners. Oh, wow. Um, that is not me. I am not a Mac. <laughs> Let me see. I, I'm not successful. I'm well, not you know confident. what? In the grand scheme of things, yeah. I am technically right. part of 1% of the world. Yeah, which is what? I, I make a decent living. Right. I follow my dreams. That's the truth. I eat every night. Right. I, I, you know what I mean? Like, wow, you're doing great, I'm doing Kevin. great, dude. 
I'm that shit rang in my ear. <laughs> <laughs> that was a little too much. <laughs> um, so you've been married 16 years. Have you ever done anything like petty? How many petty things do you... What's... What? Petty. Like, uh... Ooh, uh um, petty? Petty, like, in terms of, like, kind of spiteful. To get, to get back, let's oh, say. Like, you get oh. into an argument with your wife. Oh, and... I, I'm, I'm all, we're always like that, especially in these couple of years. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah, because... um. You know how I don't know. You're, you're not yet married. No. No. He has a he has a a, a girlfriend. He's been with for yeah. two years. And right. he's, yeah. Well, and I got a child from my ex. Yeah. Yeah. He has a baby mama. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So um. So I did everything wrong. Yes. Yeah, so, <laughs> you know um when when you married that long yeah. um, um probably about ten years at uh, the first ten years it doesn't matter who made the mistake I just. I'll just be the one to say sorry, right? Because you know what? Just let's just get this over with. I just want to go to sleep. I'm sorry, right? But then after that, <laughs> every time she made uh, she made a point, I uh, well, it started from her. Every time I made a mistake, uh, she always uh, brought up the past mistakes. Yeah. Mm. Um, shit. Damn, that shit's yeah. everywhere, huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I, 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 I wanted to ask that. So, like, I'm dating a, a Latina, mm -hmm. a Hispanic girl, mm -hmm. who historically, at least with me, are they enjoy the riffs, they enjoy drama, mm -hmm. the people suing. They like to have little arguments, or the Latinas are like that. Yes, yeah. Or is it, or it could it just be all women? I think it's all. Uh... Or probably she's just Scorpio. No, oh, you. Uh... I, I, I think they're just emotional. They're women, right? Yeah. Like, well. Just the nature of it. Well, <laughs> well, well, listen. I don't know what the female demographic is like in Indonesia, uh -huh. but New York City, um, you know, it's a difficult city uh -huh. to date in, and uh -huh. uh, our male and females are very rambunctious. We're very uh, high in your strong. face. Yeah, in your we're face. very loud. Yeah. And isn't that uh, a huge say... turn off? And when can we go to Indonesia? <laughs> <laughs> Most Indonesian women aren't like that. Yeah. Most Indone there's a cultural thing where Indonesian women had the the need, the feel to um, to serve. Mm. It's almost like that to serve. Yeah. 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 But but uh, you know how um, it's not like like in a, like they are always going to be a stay at home wife or mom it's not like that right it, they can have a career but there's always this sense of um it, family first yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. so it's like uh, also um it's a it's a cultural thing where if the husband comes home from work the wife mo uh, uh, a lot of women are going to hate me for hate me for saying this but there's uh traditionally uh when the husband comes home the wife has to prepare it a like a tea ready, mm. snacks ready, right? A um, little bit of back massage and little stuff like that. Okay. Um, uh, but um, yeah, it's like. And she's that. just uh, you say you're talking about stay uh, stay at home wife, right? No, 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 no. She's oh, got right. a job too. Oh, she yeah, 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 she's yeah. gonna get home from her tired day, <laughs> and still, yeah, and still do that. Listen, my my girlfriend takes good care. Of I will like say that. this. I, first of all, why is that like a frowned upon? No, it shouldn't, it shouldn't be. be frowned I, upon. I, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know? But like, but I, might, I understand why certain women think that's a wrong thing to do but like right. in my culture that was very similar too right those right? are classic like, standard values yeah but there's also this there's this i don't know how to i hope i'm going to say this right there's a rise of feminism in also in indonesia yeah. and there's a some sort of movement that ruining the country no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm and that's why Panji <laughs> came to america <laughs> <laughs> He goes, hey, listen, if you're going to do this while I'm poor, I'm going to do this while I'm part of the 1% of me. <laughs> yes, fuck you too. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I just, yeah, man. Like, why would, uh, how is, is uh, Indonesia like a uh, considered a first world country? I don't think so. You don't think so? I don't know. People get married young there, right? They used how to. How were you when you got married? I mean, 27. 27. Wow, so you had a few years there. Were you a single man? Were you dating around? I only have <laughs> three girlfriends my whole life. Honestly, that's 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 well, you got that's married. That's good. You got married. Man. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Let me see. When I was twenty-seven, I might have had five girlfriends my whole life. Mm. Now there's a lot of women in between <laughs> that shit, but like, <laughs> but like five legit girls that I was like, you know, like I I think I love this person, and you realize like, that's just not love. <laughs> <laughs> All my girlfriends came after I lost weight because I used to be a giant fat. Four hundred, uh, yeah. four hundred fifty uh, yeah. pounds. Yeah. yeah. So, 
He's like, that's like my. That was pretty third. disgusting. Yeah, like, it's not even phased, but I was like, that's like my fourth cousin, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have obese people in Indonesia? Yeah, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's yeah, like a big bro. problem. There? What, what about? I don't know. How I mean, I know not, that, but I not know that. like not uh, like America. Yeah, not like America. Okay. Yeah, it's different. Bullshit. There's like, Dude, there's like the, five of them in one circus over there. <laughs> <laughs> there's the portion they're, of they're how you side, eat is amazing. Is crazy. It is crazy. I'm like. This is so much. In America? Is, by the way, let me tell you something. I remember. I still you got to see how angry I get when I don't get the right portion. And, like, <laughs> and like, it's already a lot. And I'm like, yo, where the fuck are you at? <laughs> I'm not gonna, I don't need to eat everything, but I want the choice. To eat. <laughs> All right? I want to suffer in silence in my bed at night. <laughs> yeah, Kevin's serious about it. Kevin was the kind of guy, because we used to live together for a short time, mm -hmm. where he would go to a restaurant and sit by himself and eat a rack of ribs. Wow. Not a rack of ribs. You're Come on, man! It was a rack of ribs. What are you That's a about? lot. No, 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 That's no, no, a no, lot of ribs, of ribs Kevin. Well, I, I a rack of ribs. <laughs> How many rack of ribs? Uh, right? Because they shorted you on. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't know it was just a half rack. It was supposed to be <laughs> a full <laughs> rack. See? No, but I, uh, uh, yeah. Go but Panji, you said you saw some. You saw some uh, example of. of Fat Americans eating giant portions. <laughs> I don't, I don't where, like this. I don't like this. Where, uh, this where did you see this? Fatness. What did you see? I mean, I I see a lot of. Uh, I uh, first of all, I I watch comedy back in Indonesia. I watch comedy too, so I know a lot of comedians talk about you know obesity in America. In, in America. I think uh, Louis C.K. also had a bit about that. But um, when I got here, <laughs> it was mostly. On the streets when when I walk, and then sometimes on the subway, <laughs> you're like, dude, are huge, huge. And sometimes they be, um, you know, when they walk in, you know how you were sitting, and then it's like something huge coming towards you. I was like, whoa, this guy is big. Right. So if a man in Indonesia instead of having four wives just had one oh, the beef. size of four women <laughs> would that count <laughs> i like how you described obese people were here like the animals of our car concrete jungle well, i'm just you know? i'm fascinated by them <laughs> <laughs> you should set up a tour yeah a fat tour, <laughs> a fat tour? of the u.s <laughs> of the u.s oh, look at these guys <laughs> oh man so have you like have you ever like? Let's not talk about your wife. I don't want to talk about your wife. Let's All talk right. about people before your wife, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. uh, any girl broke your heart? Oh yeah, the first one broke my heart real bad. She, How bad she was she do? <laughs> so um, in Indonesia, there's a thing where you just can't uh, have a relationship cross a religion. If you're a Muslim, you mm. can't have interfaith. Yeah, yeah. But that's in that's Indonesia because I heard that Muslim dudes could date. Non-Muslim women here, in others other like Morocco, they could do that. Uh, yeah, in Iraq, they can do well, that. Well, if as a well. Muslim man has a child with a non-Muslim, the child is still Muslim because it goes by the father's side. Mm -hmm. Not, no, I don't, I don't. No, think so. it's it's. Now, well, that's how they're doing it here now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they they yeah. changed the rules. They got loopholes. You better <laughs> talk to somebody in management. But yeah, the first, um, the first ever girlfriend I ever had. Uh, she broke up with me because she's a Christian and then I'm a Muslim. And mm -hmm. then she said, look, I love you. I know you love me, but let's just end it now because we don't want to be causing you know, f further down the... And then it's going to be too hard for us wow. to... And then, um, she, yeah, so we call it quits. And then five months after that, she dated another guy who's also a Muslim. I'm like, what the fuck? No, bro, can I ask you a <laughs> they question? They always do some shit Let me like ask you that, a question. Bro. Would you... Yeah, they do. Would you... Would you um, like, were you mad enough to be like, yo, you know what? I heard a boyfriend had AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> Can you put up this article real quick? <laughs> Would you do that? Nah, man. But, but it's he's also my my friend, my my close friend. Oh, yeah. were you friends back then? We were still friends still today. Wait, are they, are, are they still, you guys? Oh, are they still together by chance? No, no. Oh, okay. So yeah, I mean, uh, he knows his name is Bayou. He knows. Oh, that he, he knows that um, I'm dating her, and then um, I told her I was very brokenhearted, and he was like, "What the hell's wrong with you, man?" Keep that it up. was. It was, about this for a little bit. it was over, and then uh, she said, "Oh yeah, I'm sorry for you." And then five months ahead, uh, five months later, she's dating. He's dating her. So wait, hold on. Let me ask you a question. This is bro code, right? Yeah. Do Do you guys do bro code over there? Something like that. Something yeah, like yeah, that, yeah. right? Now, 
Now, people are eager to get married there. So, like, bro code is a little different. Right, right? right. So, bro code for me, you know. I'm Did he know the terms in which you guys broke yeah, up? Yeah, yeah. Did he know, like, yo, did you, like, yo, bro, he did, he did. girl. I, we to call we, off. I spent the he whole. He was like, hold on, hold on. He knew why you broke up, and he was like, but I'm the right muscle. <laughs> <laughs> I spent the whole night. I don't know what the word is in, in, in English, but I spent the whole night talking to him about the. You were like, the, you were like. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. was pouring your heart out to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I was pouring just... my heart to him. He was listening. We were. We, I was He's like, crying. oh, so she doesn't like when you do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, Let me get, get this notes. notes. <laughs> man was oh studying. Yeah, yeah, man. So like, uh, how, like when you found out, first of all, mm. you're devastated. That's your best friend. Yeah, yeah. Because right? I was still calling her. I, I, it's, I and, find and it hard back to, to him. And telling her, like, yo, this bitch won't even answer my calls, yo. No, no, no. I we when I found out that he was dating her, I just I don't wanna Did you I, go I, into a dark place where you're really torn up about nah, it? Nah, just listen to Boys to Men doing just fine like thousands of times. <laughs> 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 you know that song? <laughs> I'm doing just fine. <laughs> what, what year was this? Was this before social media? Uh yeah, definitely. I think it was uh, 90, 96 to ninety eight. Mm. Two years That's way dark. before social media. This is, I mean, you know what it was like. Well, no, they had MySpace they had, at the no, time. No, no, yeah, they did. Nah, Bro, I'm no, older. No, man, no, man. Nah. 1996. There was nah, no MySpace. MySpace was around. Oh, 96. 96. Yeah, 96. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The internet just uh, it was arrived. Kind of, in the there was a messenger, right? But they didn't have America Online. You didn't have AOL in, in nah, Indonesia. Man. Wow. So, like, wait. <laughs> I, so how long? So you you kind of shunned your best friend. Like, I'm not gonna talk to this guy, right? Nah, he was cool for a little while. No, yeah, no. I I don't wanna. I was like, okay, whatever makes you happy. Right. I was a little bit upset, but I don't want to. Although wanna... we've come <laughs> to the end of the road, <laughs> Panji can't <laughs> let it go. His friend <laughs> fucked him over, <laughs> took his girlfriend. Well, even though he's notes. Muslim. <laughs> Sorry, Pan. Yeah, nah, it's okay. We just bust out a song. <laughs> <laughs> so you immediately were like, "All right, I'm good with it. I can just handle." Did you or did you like cut your friend off? Nah, for he, like, he wow. like spread the rumor. He had AIDS. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Can we go to this article real quick? That's Kevin's go-to. Allegedly <laughs> spreading rumors. Pete has AIDS. Confused pals calling Pete. What? Confused pals calling Pete. But th- which means that <laughs> it sounds like. Pete Davidson's friends are hanging out with Kanye. <laughs> <laughs> or at least they kind of believe Bro, Kanye. You fucking AIDS? <laughs> yeah, I knew those black circles around your eyes. Are doing... He's like, I no, shared a joint something. with you. <laughs> Listen. Ka- Kanye West. Bizar- By the way, can I tell you something? Uh, I'm going to read this first thing and I'm going to say something. And then I want your take. Have you read this? Do you have a take on this? I, I know the story. I haven't read the article. So Kanye West's bizarre behavior might be a new low. Can I tell you something? Not that bizarre. That's yeah, not bizarre Kanye, behavior. No. For anybody. Well, well, uh, I was going to say in, in Kanye's defense, and I love Kanye West and I'll always be to his defense, but especially when it comes, you know, he's got kids with this woman, you oh, know? Yeah. Here's the thing, though. I know I, I have an idea of the way Kanye said this in my head, mm-hmm. <laughs> right? Like he's talking some shit with a buddy, right? Mm-hmm. He's like, yo, man, I can't believe she with this motherfucker. Your AIDS, you know? <laughs> like, this ain't looking motherfucker. I know he got AIDS. This, I don't think it's in this article, but I... I <laughs> right? That's exactly yeah, how he like, did it. Fuck that Pete Day. I, SNL ain't funny. He probably got AIDS. He probably got AIDS. <laughs> yeah, he out here fucking all these old women. He's got AIDS. AIDS! <laughs> <laughs> he, he did a... Art, uh, Why is the Ariana Grande skin keep changing? AIDS! <laughs> <laughs> it's got hey yo, AIDS. <laughs> AIDS. So I'm telling you, he was he was like shooting the dozens right. of someone. But he, you know, did you see the interview with Vlad TV with Kanye? I mean, recently, so many. Well, he had a recent one. A recent I, one? Yeah, oh, yeah. Shit. No, this was like pull two, that. It was uh, like two, three weeks ago, and that's why I'm bringing oh, up the wow. kids because he was like, he was he said some shit like, you can't get between me and my kids because I'm gonna get you. And then he's like, legally, legally. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean, get to you legally? I don't know. It sounds like some easy I, shit. But I saw Remember? like Cold Stone Killer. And I went through like a tumultuous child custody thing. And like, you don't know what it is. For a man who loves his kid, mm-hmm. you, lo- you have a kid? Yeah, yeah, I got to. You know how that is. Yeah, like, yeah, you yeah. know, like there, there's a, a inner strength and power that you don't fuck with that, thing. you Pete know? Pete Davis is not getting in between 
Of course he's not. He's not. Come on. But here's the thing, though, that I know for a fact. And I don't really know for a fact, but I know for a fact. What? He was just talking a little bit of shit. Kanye. Kanye. I, yeah. Obviously. We don't even really know if it's really true, right? It's no. It's just rumors. But honestly, 100%. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep it 100. be true. <laughs> Let's keep it 100. I could, because I could see him go, Aaron got It's like, I just know he's been doing it. I just feel it. I can see it happening. You know, he once went on national television. Do you know about this, Kanye? This is nice to like have someone who's not really. Oh, uh, did you just fart? Nice. No, it's, it's the chair, man. I didn't do that, dude. That would have been mad cool. Man. <laughs> and I would have respected you so much. You're like a certain dominance. Like Give me that. a minute. I'll wrap one up for you. <laughs> Kanye once got on live television. After uh-huh. um, a major hurricane. Oh, oh, I remember this. This is the part where he said, uh, Donald, uh, George. George Bush doesn't care about black people. Yes. Yeah. yeah. He just spouts shit off sometimes. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the right. infamous where he jumped on stage when so uh, Taylor Swift. Taylor like, Swift. yo, I'm going to let you finish. Yeah, 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 yeah. But d- did you see that Pete Davidson where he, um, I think he get, get, back to, uh, get back on Kanye with a joke on SNL, I think. Oh, oh week, yeah, say, I saw it. Oh, fuck. Yeah, let's go. I, I think he said um, having a mental illness doesn't give you the right to yeah. act like a, a, an asshole. Yeah, player. honestly, it was like a, a woke, like cornball. But jab. actually, I don't know if that's woke, but I'd say I, I'd say I say you know what that is? That's hacky. I, well, I think the funniest thing Pete Davidson ever did was date was date Kim Kardashian. Oh, really I think it's hilarious, I, 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 and I think he's doing I, I, I it for love, the joke. I love Pete. To be honest with you, I like that dude. That dude oh no, I think he's great. Awesome, bro. But I think that's like the funniest thing he's dude, ever it done. It is the funniest bro. thing you could possibly do because he's like, doing. He knows he's doing it just to like. I, listen, I'm sure that like he's remember Pete unofficially officially is part of the filth crew, right? 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 He, he falls, falls in love fast, fast frequently. frequently. Mm-hmm. Okay, he's a part of that crew, dude. No way, fan of butts. But mm. it is about the joke. Who would you pick, Ariana Grande or Kim Kardashian? Uh, Ariana Grande right now, because I can have babies with her. Mm. You think Kim can't have babies? No, 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 she can. I just don't want to compete with Kanye. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want people finding out you have AIDS. No, 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 it's not that. I just don't want, like, I know Kanye would, like, try to, like, belittle me by giving my kids better gifts than I can get them. You know? <laughs> 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 That's what hurt me as a man, you know? Yeah. Like, yo, your bitch-ass father can afford this shit. I'm like, oh, come on, come on, <laughs> come on. And I respect him too much as an artist, mm. you know? And it's going to hurt me deep down inside when I smack his jaw loose again. <laughs> <laughs> do you consider yourself an artist? I'm just a comedian, man. Mm. Why what, do comedians... what, do you mean, what do you mean by saying artist? Well, uh, you know, America, and especially New York City, is very big on... Everyone claims they're an artist these days. Everybody's uh, a, a fucking artist. Yeah. So yeah. you know the, the you know that's a good way to answer. That. Like they have like a, a guy who makes the sandwich at the deli is a sandwich artist. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, yo, hey, yo. It started off from the baristas, I think. Yeah, they, they make latte they art. Those guys are artists. <laughs> those baristas are artists. Man. You ever see that Louis C.K. that Louis C.K. joke? Where he was like, "Yo, I just..." Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, I remember that. <laughs> yeah, he was yeah, like, "Yeah, sure, man." You know, yeah, he's like, "Just really working back there." And I don't know what popped. Why just popped in my head? But I was like, "Man, that." Niggas look real hard right there. <laughs> I didn't want to say I'm trying to stop saying the N-word. That's uh, good. Kevin. I grew up in the hood. We say the N-word all the time. Yeah. But like, I'm wearing these glasses. I make over 50 grand a year, and now I got to stop. Mm. <laughs> That's the rule, I think. Are there any black people in Indonesia? Actually, what's interesting is Indonesia is so huge. We There's, a, there's an island called Papua. So you put them all on the island? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, Indonesians on on Papua, right? Was, is actually are actually black, black. I don't know how to say it. Black, but, black people. Are yeah. they Are they African? Are they from Africa? Or are they? I, like, no, I think they're from. Um, they're close to the like Indian. I hope I don't get a, I don't get trouble. Don't from worry this. about getting in trouble. You're not getting in trouble. But um, I think they're closer from the closer to the Aboriginal. People. Okay, right. Oh. So like, na- like native land people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Wow, it's, what are you laughing at that for? But um, people in Java and Sumatra are also native. Right. But they, we look differently. I'm right. from the island of Java. Okay. And um, Java, like coffee, we call that coffee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Is that what that means? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. When now we, I know where that word comes yeah. from. <laughs> it's from uh, an island of Java. We're known also for the uh, coffee. But yeah, and it's so huge. 
from on the on the on this side of Indonesia, people are uh, mostly light skin. Yeah. And that's not a way. Yeah, white. They no, it's not white. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I'm no. sorry. I really don't know how to navigate myself. Yeah. But um, yeah, we're so diverse. Well, I think you're in big trouble with BLM when you get back to, <laughs> <laughs> get back to Indonesia. You know what's crazy? This guy's like he's like uh, you you're, like, you're worried, and it's like you're the last guy that should ha- you know that should. Yeah. Have to feel worried, like, or like, you're the last guy you should. This should be attacked, you know. When a guy's like, "Damn, I don't know how to say this. I don't want to be wrong." Right, they'll still attack you. They still attack you. That's what's wild. Uh, it, it is true. We have a thing going on in the in the U.S. called cancel culture. Do you know what that we is? We do have it too. You have it there. Have it there yeah. too? Is that mostly from like the Islamic side? Oh, it's basically from the uh, mostly be- from the feminist. I was side. gonna. I was gonna say <laughs> what? Yeah. Uh, there's all. Well, it's kind of like that here too, right? Yeah, there's a lot of um. What do you call spill? Spill over. Uh, when someone um t- tells other people of the things that you did. Okay. So oh, like so there, there's yeah. people who are talking about stuff that like someone has done in the past. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so so uh, right. spilling the tea now. Most most cancel. Can, most thing. Most people who are who got canceled are. Basically, because of that. Okay. Like, what type of things can get you canceled in Indonesia? Um, like, uh, I have a friend of mine who's who's a who's a he's a brilliant comedian. Also, um, one day out of the blue, there's a girl. She uh, tweeted a long thread of how my friend molested her uh, when she was drunk, and um, it got it it went big and then um he got canceled and then he was uh he was uh he went on the down low for a while and then and then recently he showed up in the internet and said that I've been trying to reach out to that girl um but she didn't want to she right. want to yeah she just wants to make the accusations and not... yeah 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 that's my point yeah did you read the accusations that they sound accurate well, it's, that's a that's it's, a difficult answer. It's, yeah, it, difficult. in Indonesia, it's always we have to be on the victim side first, right? Always like that, right? And but um, it's it's he says she says, you know, it's it's really hard. Yeah, that's a difficult. Is there any position to be in? Is there anything in your past that you would be worried about? What the fuck <laughs> kind of question is that? How are you supposed to answer that? Uh, I, I hope have a, not. Well, I have a guest here who would like to talk to you. <laughs> Remember that uh, Muslim girl that uh, you claim she didn't want you? Oh, Christian girl, sorry. Um, let's go back to Pete Davidson. I'm not going to... Uh, one source has kind of brutal diss track, which wasn't even that brutal. Uh, oh, yeah, and then he has the rap line. God saved me from the crash just so I can beat. Davidson's ass. Oh, that's not a. Yeah. You know. That's not Kanye West's best life. Ooh, they should have a celebrity boxing match. Oh. I think Pete Davidson takes him out. Really? He's too lanky. Yeah. I'm not, I mean. I'll put my money on Kanye. I don't know, bro. But I think, I think Pete Davidson is pretty ballsy to even want to consider to date Kim Kardashian. I mean, if you know his ex is Kanye West, you wouldn't, wouldn't want to have anything to do with. Well, you know, the thing that really put Kanye over the edge is that. He went with her to do Saturday Night Live like about a month or two ago, and oh. and uh, oh. she was guesting on it. She was guest host on it, and they did a, a scene where they make out, and oh. Kanye had to sit there and watch oh, his shit. kid's mother and her new boyfriend making Yo. out. That's what he was crazy. That's what he was furious. Yo, about. Pete Davidson, Mac of the Year. How did he not run on stage? I'm surprised he didn't run on stage. You're right. Right. You yeah, know he's biting himself for not doing that. I could have ended that shit. Yeah. I know kind of like, oh, man. Wow. Dad didn't know that. I didn't know he was there. Yeah, he was there. He was with them, and he watched the whole thing. It's infuriating. Damn, yo. That's crazy. I'd be pissed. Me too. I don't know. Let's blame um, who, who's the head of SNL? Lauren Michaels. Lauren Michaels. Lauren Michaels. Lauren Lauren Michaels. Michaels. Well, he sent yeah. Kanye over the edge. I want to talk about something, actually. What's up, buddy? Did you see the beautiful lady who jumped to her death yesterday? Huh? What? This, I remember, first of all, I think I might have seen it with you. I think we were watching this together a couple of years ago. It was the Miss America pageant. And it was the black girl that won. She was Miss America two years ago. Mm -hmm. She was the most beautiful black woman in the world. She jumped off uh, her building in the city. Why? Why? 
uh, you know, she left like a, a note, oh, and she God. said that growing old is like the hardest thing in the world. And oh, wow. For a woman, because you know, her whole like life is based on her beauty, and like, she just she had a poor body image, and she's like, I'm getting older, and I don't want to grow old, and to be a woman who yeah. was once beautiful and lose their looks. Oh, she doesn't bro. have a boyfriend. Damn, that was her. Yeah. Yo. You don't remember seeing her a couple of years no, ago? I don't remember, but she's gorgeous. beautiful, right? And she was a lawyer. She was a lawyer? Yeah, man. What the fuck? Yeah, she jumped, she jumped off her building on 42nd Street wow. yesterday morning. Wow. Oh, my goodness. That's very sad. Just off. Hey, why did you, why I, did you bring this up? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, wanted, I wanted to just cheer the... Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to cheer the, <laughs> the room up a little bit. Wow. What if like, she like used to date Pete Davidson and mm. she takes things very literal and right. she read that... Kanye West says Pete Davidson has AIDS. And oh, then, and she thought she had like, AIDS. Oh, AIDS. Wow. <laughs> Sorry, I tried to like bring it back somewhere, but it was it was hard, man. Like like, yeah, like thank that. you, thank you. Did it again, Yeezy. <laughs> 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 I want to say something about Yeezy taught me, but I couldn't think of a good Why? joke. Um, Yeezy taught me. <laughs> I just uh. Whew. You know what? Let's make go darker. Uh, play play that clip I, I I sent you, Irish. What is it? Let's see. Okay. So darker. Uh, it's, it's getting darker now. Okay. We're Forty minutes in. <laughs> okay, that's good. Uh, I thought you'd be interested in this being a real estate agent. <laughs> Miami it's real estate two minutes. agent turned serial killer targeted homeless people. Uh, oh. First play. Because they'll never be a client. <laughs> but check, check out why. Per, oh, wait, we're done. Sorry, Sorry about that. Okay, cool. So, uh, check this out, Josh. Yeah. Now. The murders were at the hands of the same man. The suspect was a real estate agent by day and by night. Police say he was an alleged killer. Local 10's Janine Stamman is live now with the details. Saying like he's Batman or something. I know, right? <laughs> this 25-year-old suspect got his real estate license according to Press records pause. in 20... You know what? It's funny you say that. Because he kind of is Batman. <laughs> he's he Batman? Not, Batman. He may not be the hero <laughs> you want. He's a vigilante. But he might be the hero you deserve. <laughs> Why is that? Because I want you to check out his reasoning. Okay. Oh, he wants to get rid of homelessness. He's, maybe, he's, maybe he's like Red Hood. Or, you know, he's like the Robin that shoots people and shit. He's kind of. He's just a guy. He's trying to solve a, the social problems. Issues, <laughs> but let's see why. 2018 and had no prior criminal history, at least not that we could find. At last check, he was still here at the Miami Police Department being investigated. Homeless individuals, for apparent no reason, have been brutally targeted. Police announcing they have this man in custody, 25-year-old Willie Suarez Maceo, a licensed South Florida wow. real estate agent who boasts expertise in the stock market, but who detectives are now calling a serial Crypto guru. whose victims are all homeless. <laughs> On the eve of Christmas, we have a very dangerous person off of the streets now. On uh -huh. Tuesday night, while sure. still inside his car, police say Maceo shot a homeless man in the head in the 400 block of Southwest 2nd Avenue. It's like a David Fincher movie. Then two hours movie, later, so. <laughs> open fire at another homeless man at 21st Street and North Miami Avenue, killing him. Physical evidence hey, this is what happens. Of both crimes quickly were matched by our ballistics expert. Detectives then reportedly spotted a resemblance between Maceo and the man in this flyer believed to be responsible for okay. the brutal stabbing of yet another homeless Oh, he's victim. like uh who didn't Wilbur. even wear a mask. Video from that night shows a black What's Sorry, what what's what's uh what's that movie with the guy who played Batman who was uh he's like the rich stock broker guy who kills like homeless people and stuff. Oh, uh Christian Christian Bale, Bale um, yeah. Pockets. American Psycho. Yeah, American, American Psycho. Psycho. Yeah, that's like the stuff he did in American Psycho. Kind of, kind of. And he wasn't like you know Hiding his face from the camera, it was like no, looking right. up. Like no. he's a hero that <laughs> that you needed to see. <laughs> yeah, but why he's is this guy, guy a hero now, Kevin? I'm I, trying I, I, to I, understand put, 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 how a murderer. I, I want, I want the, the whole video to play. I, I think Police they bring it up. Think belongs to Maceo. The victim, Manuel Perez, did not survive. There might be other victims out there that have suffered at the hand of of this uh, ruthless criminal. Ruthless, he is. 
And so the interim police chief says that he will face charges of murder. Uh, Kevin, I don't what the hell are you I, talking? I, 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 There's I, I, nothing I, I, justifiable. Well, I, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Mm. He's a real estate agent. Right. Okay. He's trying to get people in these condos, mm-hmm. right? Oh, and they're, they're depreciating and they're like, the price they're depreciating of it because the there's homeless like, people there. Time to let a few of these guys go. You know what? You're right. They should rename the block out. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think was going to happen? You know, th- some people just walk around with this, like, there's, like, sickness in the there, world. A, well, here's, here's the thing. This was uh, since 2018, so I can't even give him the pandemic brain excuse. Right. <laughs> right? Because yeah. I have a term that I'm calling No, he's just a sociopath. <laughs> he's a sociopath, but he's a guy who's trying to follow his American dream. Mm-hmm. That's the cost of the American dream. <laughs> truly is. It's, it's just you thinking, like, by any means necessary. You understand what I'm saying here? You understand what I'm saying? That's the American dream. The right. American dream take is Take it like, into your own hands. Let me take this into my own hands, Okay. Now, this is Florida. You would think that they have, like, strict homeless laws. Right. Because it's a right-wing place, right? Am I, am yeah, I, yeah. Am I wrong? This is Miami? Yeah, but they right? don't have homeless laws. I mean, because in Miami, you could basically live outside for 24-7, 365, and nobody really knows right. the difference between a homeless man and a guy who's beach-bumming it. Right. You know? Uh, unless you're fat. That's the only difference. Like, if you're a fat, he, I bet you shot only fat homeless people. That, that elderly black man. I, yeah, didn't that, look didn't, very that guy fat, didn't look Kevin. Kevin, Kevin, why do you oh, hate? Oh, oh, yeah, that's right. Like, he shot in the head, didn't look fat, but yeah. I bet he asked for some money. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right in front of one of the condos <laughs> that he was trying to show at. Do you have homeless people in well, Indonesia? Uh, not as much as the, really? I'm seeing in New York. Yeah. How do you, uh, is there poverty there? Yeah, there is. Definitely. Okay, so, so like, what, what is a poor person like? How do yeah. they live? Yeah. But um, in Indonesia, we have this, uh, what's the word? Social. But it's Yes, social department. Right. Where they always find people and then they bring it in and then they, they help you know, them feed out. them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's, here's the thing. Great country. I make, I make, I make, a, I make a, a little ch- little bit of change. Right. Not great. Okay. Not great money by any means necessary. Okay. I'm always at the risk of being homeless. Right. This guy would get me. Right. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm like yeah. six weeks away from it. Every, every, <laughs> well, every... stay out of Miami, Kevin. So, but like, <laughs> here's the thing. Not the hero you want. Right. The hero you but need. The hero you the deserve. Hero you deserve. You're saying... Not I need. <laughs> deserve. 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 You understand what I'm saying, Miami? Kevin believes homeless people deserve to be married. I think no, Kevin I... is trying to be like that person, but here in New yeah, York. New York City. <laughs> No, 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 no. I'm for homeless people in front of uh, high rise condos <laughs> in New York City. I'm so, for it. but I, I could just see this guy like walking around trying to show this uh, condo, right? Right, and this homeless and the guy's guy. like, What is this place? It's disgusting. There's <laughs> yeah. a homeless guy in front, and he just takes no, he's like, huh? You're at seven in the morning, <laughs> <laughs> you're at seven in the morning? okay? I'm gonna be here tomorrow. See if you're here, <laughs> see if you're here. It just cost me. <laughs> so you talk about uh, thuggy animals. Tell yeah, me yeah. about thuggy animals in Indonesia. A lot of them. There's a lot of monkeys I, and stuff running around. Yeah, uh, I, I even, I once, uh, um, people were offended of one of my jokes. Okay. Um, cat lovers were offended because I said in Jakarta the thug animals are cats. Right. No, I'm and out of here. That's fucking. I'm not doing this. <laughs> <laughs> but it's true. There's a lot of uh, animals, stray animals, stealing stuff. And in Jakarta, it's just cats. Cats be, you know, uh, looking at your trash. Right. They be, and then they. I think cat rules Jakarta because cat be, you know, walking around, sitting in the middle of the street. Right. You give them a light, they, they don't, don't move. move. Oh. You honk them and, and they don't move and then you have to, okay. So like, they're the pigeons of Jakarta. Ah, yeah, Have yeah, you yeah. seen our pigeons? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah they yeah. will not get out of the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pigeons, basically. Yeah. Just like that. Your pigeons are the thug animals I was talking about, right? Yeah. They run the city. They do run the city. Yeah, and yeah. the rats. That's Actually, it's the rats city. This is a rat city, unfortunately. Yeah. yeah. There's a famous video you don't need to pull it up, but it's the most horrific thing in the world. It's it's a rat fighting it's, with a pigeon, and then it pulls the pigeons. Oh. The pigeon's like still alive, and it pulls them into this hole in the wall to into the grass to be eaten. Into the grass. I, uh, What's the size of this rat? The size some of, of them are pigeon. huge, man. Whoa. Some of them are huge, yeah. like this, like this. Yeah. Master Splinter. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> very very scary. 
If only we had that hero in Miami to come take us to <laughs> Kevin can't get killing homeless people out of his mind. I just, you know what it is? Like, listen, I'm not saying that you kill homeless people. Obviously, I'm kidding and I'm joking. I hope you know that. Okay, people? But what I am saying word is being canceled, someone, Kevin. some, I'm not worried. It's already done. <laughs> like, um, there's no. Well, this was gonna happen. You ready for this? You ready for this, Irish? And here, you're gonna hear it today. What's today's date? Today's the 31st of January, yeah. right? You're gonna hear it here, and you're gonna hear it now. Okay. You pregnant? No. Close. No. I'm. I'm. I'm gonna get something. It's gonna happen. I feel it. it's coming. It's close. Mm. Right. And then someone's and then <laughs> right before. <laughs> <laughs> right before that wire transfer of five hundred thousand. Right. Or two hundred thousand for like keeping this. Or they're keeping gonna play that. a clip of you calling for the clip. killing of homeless oh. people. <laughs> them that not, it's not the hero you deserve. I mean, you want, but it's the I'm hero Luke. you deserve. I'm Luke. <laughs> and then it's gonna be. And then so what? Who cares? <laughs> Who cares? I'm joking. I'm kidding. This is a comedy podcast. I, I have more questions about Indonesia. Mm-hmm. So, do they have like a corporal punishment there? Like, like do they have caning there? Because I know they do that in Man, other... Really one one of, I, 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 I'm so glad you brought it up because I wanted to bring that up too, but I kept it to myself. Oh, okay. There's one province in Indonesia that right. still has that caning law. Right. It's in uh, Aceh. Okay. Why do they do it? It's a very Islamic province. Mm. No, 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 no. Oh, I'm I saying, mean, like, what, why, what, what kind of offenses do you get caned for? Kissing, holding hands, Kissing. having sex. Unmarried. Unmarried, yeah. Mm. Or, or like PDA, even if you are married? Yeah. Oh, if you're married, can you kiss in public? Well, in general, Indonesians don't, don't do, do that. Yeah. yeah, don't do that. So if I go to Indonesia, you're gonna get caned automatically. <laughs> you're going right off the plane into no, a. No, but it's state. only in uh, in Aceh. The rest of the pro- we have 33 province. Only one still does have that. that. Yes. Yeah, so Let me ask you a question: If you can't PDA, like you dated a girl, mm-hmm. how, what's the longest relationship before you got into like um three before you got married? Three and a half years. So you just never kissed in the streets? Or no. Never? No, nobody's kissing on the streets. So like, how wow. do you end a date? Like, you just say, okay, bye-bye. Well, <laughs> it's either I I take her to my place or we go to oh, her her okay. house. Okay. And then, you know, things and you happen. you meet the family. <laughs> 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 yeah, but um, we don't, we don't do that. We don't. That's why... Indonesians, when we go to New York, one of the no, things that we what? that's on our bucket list is kissing on the Central Park. Really? Oh, yeah, 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 that's sweet. Yeah, yeah. Wow. That's so I'll put that on your Instagram when you get back home. <laughs> 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 yeah, but Jotty, Jotty. I don't know. Is that a curse word? So, if is. you see someone like going at it, are you like disgusted by it? Me, no. Or is it like, whoa, what the fuck? Like, but his parents are probably that is disgusting. Are your parents super probably, conservative? Yeah, probably. No, no, not super conservative. But it's just. We don't really see that quite often. We right. never see that. Right. It's not a thing. It's not a cultural thing. Yeah. The the the, the most PDA that's happening in Indonesia is just holding hands. Right. But nobody's like you know, you know, I, I was surprised. I was not surprised. I was like, "Oh, uh when uh, I saw this I was uh, going to cross the street and then this couple went, "Hey, hey, hey, how are you?" And then they kiss on the on the uh sidewalk. Right. I was like, oh, wow. Oh. Oh, they're kissing. I don't point see that. At them and like, <laughs> what are you doing? Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> I don't know why I keep saying that. <laughs> that's, that's not a thing. That's, that's not, not a thing. thing. Yeah. That's not a thing. Gotcha, gotcha, not a thing. Nah, Can that's you not make a it thing. A thing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, e- even if are someone pod- is kissing, it's probably in the club. In the club? Wow. Yeah. Oh, so in the dark. Yeah, yeah. The dark. Music license, everything else. But other than that, no, How's man. the party scene in Indonesia? I'm pretty sure I fingered a girl <laughs> I used to finger girls at clubs. Uh, that's cool for yeah. you. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> they don't do that in Indonesia. I maybe, maybe, probably. Yeah. Uh, well, to Wait, begin you... with, I'm not uh, the kind of guy that likes to go out on on. You know, I don't do clubs. I don't. No, I don't do it anymore. Yeah, yeah. I I, I never never did, did it. Yeah, never. Yeah. You never been to a club? No, no, no. I mean, I don't. I don't really like doing that. It's not. Yeah. It's too loud for me. Yeah. I just like to stay at home. I liked it when I, you know, I went to a club recently with a buddy. Uh-huh. And I, I mean, you feel really out of place. Bro. Yeah, man. You feel like when you're like, see, twenty two year olds, twenty one years, old, none of them know what to do, and uh, and like you're just riding the whole time, the whole time. Like, oh, I feel, it is good to go to. 
Why? Because so you, you feel like an idiot. <laughs> yeah, you, to feel like an idiot, <laughs> but also like to observe. Like, oh, I remember being like that. Mm. Like you forget. Like, oh, that's right. I wasn't always like knew what I, I you know, what to do. Right. And it is. And now I don't at all because I'm in a yeah, club and I should not yeah, be yeah, here. Yeah. <laughs> I remember with the great DC Williams. He wanted to stay so badly. Like, Dude, this is not for me. Which club me. did you go to? Not a good one. <laughs> like, uh, the DJ was playing like 05 like pop music. Oh, really? Uh-huh. I, I, honestly, I don't even think they had a DJ. I think they just had like somebody on the ox. It was a terrible oh, fucking club. It was, a, it was in LES. I think it was one on one or one one or one to one. It doesn't matter, but it was a terrible <laughs> club. So, Panji, do you, do you do other stuff than comedy? Do you act or anything I like do, that? I do. I write and direct movies. Really? Yeah. Tell yeah, us about that. About what? Your movies. Well, only I only direct two. One of them. I got a movie pitch for you. What was that? Let him tell us. This is real estate agent, right? (laughs) 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 And he noticed there's a problem. And the problem is, (laughs) he's not the hero you want, but he's the hero you deserve. (laughs) Kills homeless. Yeah, anti-hero. That's the thing. Some people call that a vigilante. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I'm sorry. What but you? yeah, I, I made a I made a buddy cop movie. Buddy cop. Yeah. Oh, it hasn't okay. been a good buddy cop movie in a minute. Yeah. And there has never been a buddy cop movie in Indonesia before. No. No. I really like. Let's I watched a- Bad Boys one and two. Oh, Even shit. Central Intelligence, I like it. Um, but um, I direct the buddy cop movie, and then I direct another movie. It's a it's a rom com, but it's it's not out yet because of the pandemic. Mm-hmm. My producer wants it to be on the. Theaters. on the screen yeah um but i i act awesome, on more bro. movies than than i direct i just i only direct two movies i want to can <laughs> you think me and josh should be a buddy cop movie and yeah 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 in indonesia though yeah 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 and, uh this is what kevin's we, jackie this chan is, this is what we yes but this is what we do uh-huh. it'll be a sequel uh-huh. and we arrest not the hero you want, <laughs> but the hero you deserve. Yo. We, we we bring him in. All right, cool. Yo, Josh Jesus. has to have the lethal weapon mal- uh, mullet, though. Like, mal- oh, mal- yes. He, but I don't think he could grow his hair like a mullet. I don't think he... Sure, sure. Can can you, yeah, he used to have long hair, right? Yeah, yeah man. Makeup, it's a movie. Yeah, that's right. You're right. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah, what am no. I talking about? Come on, man. Don't yeah. underestimate me. <laughs> uh, what acting role do you like to do the best? Like, what's your? I I like I just do um, comedy movies, but sometimes I do drama because you know, as a, as a comic, there are certain emotions that you just can't tap into because right. it's it it'll be weird on stage, and so sometimes I took drama roles too, but uh, mostly um, comedy movies. Yeah. Can you cry on demand? No, that, I don't. I, I can't do that. I remember, I remember this one scene that uh, the director wanted me to cry, mm-hmm. and then I, I need time. And then I was like trying to remember whatever is sad in my life, right. and it didn't happen. Right. And so they skipped that scene. Wow. <laughs> Never did it anyway. I can't. And then do you it. cried. Fucking <laughs> scene. <laughs> Let me ask you, for these scenes, don't you have like, don't you know what's coming? Like that it? day, don't be like, hey, this is a scene. no, yeah, but but this, uh, so it's a wedding scene, mm-hmm. and. I, I don't have a line in the scene. Right. Uh, so I thought I was just there because I need to be there. The character needs to be there. Right. But then the director, there's going to be a shot on you and you need cry. to cry. I need to cry. <laughs> but it didn't happen. Don't you wish that you knew the story about the guy <laughs> who murdered a bunch of homeless people? Kevin likes calling backs. <laughs> Listen, I, honestly, I did like seven in a row. Yeah, dude. <laughs> but why are you hating? I think that your bit should be like a homeless person in my head. <laughs> <laughs> Someone should it kill only it. Gets better. it. Only gets better. It. No, it shouldn't. It was good. Trust yeah. me. So, um, so you, um, so you the film. W- asking questions about films. So. I, I'm, I'm, I'm interested in Pages. <laughs> curious. Life, yeah, man. it's okay. It's okay. I'm good. I'm good. So, what was the name of the the film that you did? The first one that came out already. Oh, Party Clear. Party Clear. Yeah. Or am I? Am I? Is that a? <laughs> and so, uh, it's uh, it's this is how you spell P A R T. I K E L I R, particular. What does it mean? It means it's a. Uh, what's the uh, the other word, the the other word than government? Not not government. Private. Private. Okay. Bi- like private a investigator. That's okay. That's okay. It. Okay. Uh, so P-I. Uh, particular. Yeah. P I. Uh, private investigator. Oh. Okay. So you were the private investigator. Mm, yeah. It's uh, me and then uh, another another character. Have you ever gotten in trouble in Indonesia? 
A lot of the times, yeah. Really? I offend, I offend a lot of people from my jokes. Oh, no, no, no. Fuck that. Fuck the joke part. Criminally. Yeah. No, no, never. <laughs> no. No, no, no. I you hope. Look like a dude, like, you look like you got like a, like, 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 you got into street fights and shit. No, no. no. I'm, uh, nah, nah, I don't, I don't do I don't that. Know. I think that's the racism. Maybe. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. I, I don't really like to fight. I don't. I get scared too easily. I'm, I'm scared now more than ever to fight. <laughs> more than ever. I've, I'm more scared today right. than I've ever been. Then that's because you're intelligent now. Right. You grew up. Yeah, I don't want to fight at all. Yeah, because there's no good I outcome. Was, for I was that. just talking to a comedian about this. I was like, dude, he was just talking about how he just stomped somebody out. I'm like, what? Dude, you're 28 years old. Why yeah. are you stopping people out, man? Yeah, you don't you avoid do that. it. What are you doing? He goes, no, Kevin came for me. I'm like, no, he didn't. <laughs> no, he didn't. I was on your head. Kathy was homeless. <laughs> 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 then Kev was like, all right, that makes sense. <laughs> that makes sense. All right, all right. <laughs> Would you like to do films in the US? I, I don't know, man. I serious I'm i I'm just I s I'm seriously just doing comedy right now. I just that's what I wanna do. Right. The reason why I, I'm trying to move here is just because I don't want I wanna do as much comedy. Stand-up comedy as I can. Cool. Do you want to stay in the U.S.? Yeah, yeah. That's the plan. Yeah? Yeah. When do you see that happening? I'm probably, I'm hopefully June. By June, I can bring my kids and my, my wife here. Fuck awesome. Yeah. yeah. I'm also a real estate agent if you need an apartment. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I do, actually. <laughs> I'm, looking at, I'm, I'm actually looking for uh, an apartment. But I, I, it's... The documents that needs to I need to have is pretty. In New York, renting yeah. a place is ridiculous. They yeah. want everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You need yeah. to give them DNA and. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. And you have to like prove that you're about it and kill a homeless man. Yeah. <laughs> in front of It is. It, 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 it does get funnier. It does, it does get funnier and funnier. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I want to save the baby. <laughs> He did. He once saved the baby. Oh, saved the baby. From a homeless from person. From a homeless guy. <laughs> really? Yeah, 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 He was eating him. Fucked <laughs> 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 In Starbucks. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. No way. I swear to God. If he wouldn't have stopped the guy, he would have finished the entire baby. Yeah. <laughs> no, really? I saved three quarters of a baby. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm not three quarters, but a lot of it. Most of it. Most of it. He bit a picky toe. Oh, that's just nasty. This is what Dave, this is what, uh, this is what you guys Kevin look forward to. <laughs> <laughs> this is what you're moving, your, you moving your family into. <laughs> All for your stupid dream. <laughs> l l let me ask you, Pitt, was your like, uh, what was that's your nasty. expectations of, of New York City? Did they live up to it? Was it like what you expected coming oh, here? Oh, yeah. It, it's exactly what I was expecting really? because yeah because i studied the scene like years i first thought about moving here i think it was 2016 and then from 2017 i it's countless the amount of podcast episodes youtube videos that i watched about the scene so i know a lot i know about a, barkings and stuff right. everything yeah well you're talking about just the comedy scene you mean. oh yeah, well, yeah, I'm yeah. Talking about, we're talking about i'm assuming you mean yeah i mean like the so like when you came the here, homelessness yeah, like the people doing heroin in the yeah the, the drug street. addicts in the streets well i know about that i know of that um I'm, but you're blind to it no 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 i mean i mean i'm i'm i know i'm prepared i'm not i'm not i'm not prepared but i know of it because i i think i, I I don't know if I told you. I think I told you. Uh, I was. I went here 2019 for a vacation with my kids and mm. my my wife, and so I Good I've choice. seen it before. No. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen it before, and then um, and so I'm familiar. And um, I think L A also got it bad. Yeah. yeah. Oh, L A. Well, the homeless. The thing, in New, at least in New York City, you'd be okay for the most part. Like the homeless people here, it's like they have a um, what is that called in a job where like. Uh, they, it's like they have a union, and one of their rules is <laughs> you're not allowed to like really fuck up because they gotta beg for money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. right. So I think they ostracize you or they kill you off themselves. One in, of the in LA, it's scary. It's very it's scary. True. LA is spooky. I I remember because I, homeless people are not necessarily poor. They could be like fucked up directors who just haven't made a movie in a long time. Yeah, some of them are just 
Something's then, wrong. Something's with nuts. wrong. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Some of one of them tried to snatch my daughter because she probably was like in me- she was probably a method actor, <laughs> <laughs> and she was gearing up for a role. You know, that's the thing with LA. You got to forgive a little bit because some of them are method acting. <laughs> Actually, for a role they're a never going to get. They were method acting. They were method. on method, methamphetamines. <laughs> Yo, this is the Mac Omen. Dude, it was so fucking great having you here, man. My yeah, pleasure. Really Likewise, amazing, Thank you for coming man. through. We, did you enjoy it? Did you I enjoyed it. I enjoyed we're, it. We're, we're looking forward to giving you... Uh, Helping you break into New York City, man. You've you've really you've Thank bumped you into much. the ambassadors. <laughs> <laughs> you can write back home and tell them you've made it. <laughs> <laughs> But no, thank I don't you like very that much. sinister laugh he just. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm having fun. I'm having fun. Panji, uh, what's your YouTube and uh, your Instagram? Where can they follow you? Actually, we should just tell him that. What <laughs> our YouTube and Instagram? Well, so just, just let him do yeah, it. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, it's uh, but it's a little bit mouthful. It's Panji dot Oh, that's easy. <laughs> <laughs> Both in YouTube and Instagram, Panji dot I'm sure they just spell the P A N D D D J I D J I. Yeah, you'll find them. Yeah, he's huge. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Um, you're hilarious. I love your stand up. Thank you. Very I think much. you're a really funny, dude, man. I look forward to doing great more shows story. with you. Great storyteller. Um, this has been the Mac. This Almanac. is the Mac Almanac. You know what it is. If you like this, please subscribe. Uh, fucking send it. Send it to a friend. Like it, share it, subscribe. Follow us on the Mac Almanac on Instagram and YouTube. Uh, we'll see you in a bit. We'll see you in a bit. Uh, if you feel it like a pimp.